paid is the best coach. And I'm still in this season five talking about my relationships. I figure I might as well uncover myself and dive in. There's no way to really let somebody believe in you, trust in you, if you're not able to unveil or uncover your own life. How can I expect you to trust me if I can't be honest, if I can't tell the truth about myself and what I'm going through or what I went through? All of this is designed for you to learn something to better yourself as you go forward, student athlete, so that you can play football and don't have to worry about anything basketball as well but when I was in college I went to a junior college first and um, I was very fortunate to have a relationship um, and I think a lot of us have had a lot of relationships to be honest with ourselves right I mean I'm no different I had a uh, I didn't just run off and get married. Immediately, I also had uh, relationships. One of the relationships that I'll dive into that I had when I was in Minnesota in the junior college that I went to was a relationship with a, a young lady who was powerful, built powerful the old term I don't know what people use nowadays maybe somebody can put it in a comment but the term that we used back in the day for an old school person like myself was she was an Amazon and this young lady who was I was a young man we were roughly about the same age. and uh, She was in college, but she went to a different school. And Amazon is, well, maybe you guys can put it in a comment for somebody who don't know what an Amazon is. But she was a powerful woman. She was almost as tall as I am. And, uh, I'm six feet, six foot one, six foot three on a good day, but I'm six feet um, and maybe even 5'10 on a bad day, depending on how slumped or tired I feel. But nonetheless, back to the story, I deviated a little bit. And this is my storytelling portion about myself. So I'm pouring my own life out into the social media because I want my players to trust me, to respect me. If we're going to laugh at what I've been through, that's fine. Let's get it over with so we can win these championships so you can go pro or you can still be a better person for the rest of your life. So um, I'm going to say she's powerful. And her being from another school, she became very protective of me because she was larger and bigger than a lot of women and because of her upbringing she had a, a permanent chip on her shoulder that she wouldn't allow anybody to knock off uh, but me me being respectful and being nice I never really attempted to knock any chips off of her shoulder, I just let her be. One thing I can say for sure, and two things is for certain, whenever she came to campus and visited on the weekend, came to see me playing my games, I was always enthusiastic about seeing her. Um, nowadays, even at this point at 50, I still like to find something to be excited about 
to help me get through my days to not worry about pitfalls or crises or trials and tribulations that each one of us face as we go forward. So even back then when I was 19, 18 and 19, she would be protective of me, say that. And we had a party one particular time and, and I think there was a this is fuzzy to me I'm not sure but because I don't know how to read women so I don't want to try and say this other young lady liked me or was in pursuit of me because I don't I don't believe that I don't I don't think that's true so I didn't want big S get upset, that's what I would call her, to get upset about somebody making an attempt to talk to me, but I let her know that uh, she was symbolic to a rock while on a chain, and she laughed because she knew what I was saying, she was very protective of me. So I had to remind her that as a student athlete, that some people recognize me or know me, not only from playing on the football field and on the gridiron, in the classrooms in their school. So when we would have a public event, and whether it's in our residency or um, in an organized place, in a facility surrounded by DJs and music playing and other people from different areas I had to let her know it's possible somebody might speak to me acknowledge me or I might acknowledge other people because I think I'm kind like that um, she knows that I did music and everything else I had a CD and so I'm pretty popular on a number, a number of levels. And she understood it. So I tried to prepare her to, you know, kind of keep it down because I've seen her nostrils flare up and get upset with other women who may have just been speaking. I don't know if it was a cat fight or a war between two women who understood deeper than what I did, but I tried to keep everything balanced and maintain. But anyway, on this particular evening, on a Friday, or maybe a Saturday, some woman was brave. And uh, in her bravery, she said something to me, and Big Ass heard it. And she turned to get ready to inflict punishment on this young lady who I know had no idea about Big S or what Big S was capable of doing but she didn't notice a very large woman who was beside me and maybe she didn't think about it but um, I grabbed Big S and walked her to the back and calmed her down and just basically let her know again that this type of behavior really is not going to be acceptable because of the position that I'm in and I know we enjoy you know our time together and whether we you know playing cards watching a movie back then we play video games together cooking and all of this, if we want this to continue, then we we need to play fair and play nice with other people. Um, you do know that I am a, a high profile or well respected football player on the team. So anyway, she calmed down and that particular episode did not repeat itself. And she was totally supportive of me. I was supportive of her. Um, and I pray to God that today 
she is doing fine, hopefully. Everything is going well with her. And um, I enjoyed the time, and I want to say, in reminiscing about the time that we shared, it was very positive to me. I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. It was those moments, and I enjoyed them then. And as I reminisce and look back from a memory standpoint, I enjoy them now. So I will say to some people, enjoy your life. Learn some things, spend some time, and you create memories. And God willing, if we make it to be 50 and still be in our right minds, might be able to reminisce and thank somebody for their contribution in your life. Hopefully I was a positive influence in her life as well. And um, that's what we got. So I want to thank God for that opportunity, the big S. She know who she is. And um, I got nothing but respect and a positive outlook from what we was involved in. So to all of my fans or people who are just chiming in to watch this Best Coach episode, if y'all want to share any one of the stories or relationships you was a part of, please put it in the comment. If we are in an area close to each other, or you guys know from a technology standpoint how we can rig it up and do a conversation and do videos together, I'm game. I'm all for it. Whatever pushes the um, civilization forward in a positive direction, I'm all in. So this is another episode of The Best Coach talking about relationships. So I love y'all. Stay strong. This shot, the shot of my reach, man, my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? That's awful. Let there be light.